welcome to Raz Reviews. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing Venom. Starring Tom Hardy, this film brings the iconic Spider-Man villain to life in his own solo film. And it's the story of Eddie Brock, a reporter who comes across an alien life form that merges with his body and gives him superhuman powers. Now, this film has had a lot of controversy before it comes out, from rumors to bad early reviews. So when I went to see it, I was actually nervous and worried that I'm gonna hate it. But I'm glad to say that I didn't. This is not a bad movie. I know that many of the critics and the reviews are highly negative, and I actually disagree. I don't think this is a great film, but I don't think it's a dumpster fire either. I found it to be very enjoyable, a really fun ride, especially if you're a comic book fan or a fan of Venom as a whole. But the truth is, is that there's some things about this movie that don't work, and there are things that do actually work. For me, what works the most is Venom himself. First of all, he looks amazing. I think we take for granted the amount of advancement we have in CGI and like special effects to give us this amazing cool looking characters. I love the way Venom looks, I love the character design, and I especially freaked out over how Eddie Brock becomes Venom. That is cool and I think it's underappreciated. And there were some funny moments in this movie, some really laugh out loud enjoyable moments that I didn't expect. But what works the most about Venom is Tom Hardy's performance as Eddie Brock and Venom, by the way. Yeah, he actually does the voice of Venom. I didn't know that. It's awesome. I love that voice. It's gonna be iconic. Now bear in mind that this is not the Eddie Brock from the comics. This is Tom Hardy's interpretation of the character with a different backstory as well. The relationship between Venom and Eddie Brock is the highlight of the film and it really elevates it and makes it work. They have this like interesting quirky connection between the two of them that sometimes kind of feels like a body film and it's weird. I won't deny that but I enjoyed it. Basically what I'm saying is that Tom Hardy has really nice chemistry with Tom Hardy. It's really a lot of fun watching him play off himself. And that's just the thing. Tom Hardy's performance will make or break this film for you. If you hated it, then you will hate this movie. But if you like his performance and interpretation of Venom and Eddie Brock, then you will like this film despite its faults. Speaking of faults, this movie has a bunch of them. Starting with the script. This is not a good script. The story is very weak, there are a lot of plot holes, the dialogue is not great in a lot of points. The first act of this film is slow. It takes forever for the story to set up, it takes forever for Venom to actually show up, and it really felt like a drag. The biggest, most jarring weakness is the storyline involving the evil corporation, or not Oscorp. The villain in this film, surprise surprise, is terrible. He felt like such a cookie cutter, two-dimensional, weird, Steve Jobby, whispering, monologuing villain. Felt like a villain from like 2004. Like, we were past this. We're past this kind of stuff. He's just really lame. Just lame. The only thing that is as lame as him is the character of Eddie Brock's girlfriend. She was also pretty lame. She's two-dimensional. She didn't feel like she needed to be there. She's supposed to be a lawyer and for some reason she's dressed like a schoolgirl and she has this weird Barbie wig. And also, she had terrible chemistry with Tom Hardy, so I didn't really buy them as a couple even. The biggest issue this movie actually had for me is that it's tonally inconsistent. I felt like this movie didn't know what it wanted to be. It starts out with this like cool horror film mood atmosphere and then it turns into this hyper intense action comic book movie and then it becomes this comedy buddy film and then it becomes this over the top CGI fest science fiction thing. And that's why it felt to a lot of people like it's a mess. It just, it, it didn't feel comfortable, it felt weird and inconsistent. And I also felt like the movie didn't know what to do with Venom himself. Is he a hero? Is he an anti-hero? Is he a villain? Is he a psychopath? Is he an alien? What is he? And he kept flip-flopping between those two. However, the, again, the performance and the chemistry between Venom and Eddie Brock is what kept the film going and is what made the film enjoyable for me. So basically, it's this like really cool, interesting character that's stuck inside a film where it doesn't belong. Like... Like a symbiote. <gasps> this movie is a symbiote! 
Oh, this character is a symbiote. The movie is is a host. It doesn't mesh well, so it rejects it. It feels weird. Whoa! <laughs> the movie is a bad host. I figured it out. That's it. So all in all, I actually enjoyed this film. I didn't have a bad time. I disagree with the critics and I think they're being a little too harsh, but I see the faults of the film and I see the problems that many people might have with this movie. And at the end of the day, whether you like it or not, is really gonna be up to you because it is a weird film. It's not a bad movie, but it's definitely not as great as I wanted it to be. And for me, I'm going to give Venom a 6.5 out of 10. Before I end this review, I have something I wanna say that might be a little bit spoiler-ish. So if you're super worried about spoilers, you might wanna skip this. However, I have a very important message to Sony and the studio. Hi, Sony, I'm Raz from Raz Abuse. I have a message for you. You can totally ignore it. I don't really matter, but I really want to get this off my chest. For the love of God, stop putting the final scene of the movie as the final scene in the trailer. It ruins the experience. It's bad. Please stop. Stop doing that. S stop. Don't spoil movies in the trailer. We're fans. We're gonna come see it. You can do better marketing. I believe in you. Stop. So, have you seen Venom? Are you gonna check it out despite what the critics are saying? Let me know what your opinion is and feel free to debate what you thought of the film if you agree or disagree with me in the comment section. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to ask me what you'd like me to review for you next. See ya.